So what I want to show you in this video is a bringing together of all the skills that we've learnt so far in this section um, to try and find the x values for when y equals 3x to the 5 minus 5x cubed is increasing, decreasing or stationary. And we're going to use those skills to see if we can figure out what this curve would look like. It's got an interesting shape. Okay, now I'm not saying that this type of curve will you'll be asked to sketch in the exam, but I want to show you that we have all the necessary skills in order to do it. So we're going to first find dy by dx, differentiate. So dy by dx is equal to 15x to the 4 take away 15x squared. Okay, that's the first thing. Now I know that stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So when 15x to the 4 minus 15x squared equals 0. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to divide through by 15 and get x to the 4 minus x squared is 0. Now I must stop myself from trying to divide by x squared. Remember, doing that will lose you solutions, okay? So you want to factorize this instead. Factorize it into a single bracket first. And then that is the difference of two squares. So we'll have x squared, x minus 1, x plus 1. Okay? And that gives us three stationary points. One at x is 0. One at x is 1 and the other is that x is minus 1, okay? So we have three stationary points to work with. Now, because we have these three stationary points, and I don't know what this curve looks like, I'm going to go straight to the calculator, okay? So we're going to use the same process as before. You want to get it into mode, and then number 7 for table, brings up this f of x equals, we want to type in this, okay? We want to type in the dy by dx. So 15 times alpha x to the power of 4, take away 15 times alpha x squared. Press equals, and you should get a start question mark. Now, these are my stationary points. That's the furthest to the left, so let's go for minus 2. So let's do minus 2, and then this is the one that's furthest to the right, so let's go one, us, one along from that, so let's go to 2. And now the step. Now we've got to be careful here. We don't want to choose a step of 1, because that will step us from minus 1 to 0 to 1, without looking at the gradient of the curve between. You must try and get the gradient of the curve between these stationary points. And so it would make sense to put it at 0 0.5. At least then I'm looking at the gradient either side of each point. So 0 0.5 will be the step. So we should then get a table. So we've got uh, x values and f of x values. We have a minus 2, minus 1.5, minus 1, uh, minus 0 0.5, 0, 1. Uh, 1.5 and 2, and here we have 180, 42.187, then we have the 0, scroll down, minus 2.812, then we've got 0, then we've got minus 2.812 again, then we've got 0, oh, I've, uh, what's happened here, I've scrolled down too far. So at the x values, minus 1 was 0, minus 0 0.5 was that, 0 was that, that's fine. Uh, 0.5, I've missed out 0.5 on my table, that's why. Okay, can't, can't add up the 1.5, uh, the 0.5s, clearly. And then x is 1, uh, we've got 0 again, and then we've got 42.187, and then we've got the 180, okay? So, this table is what I've got in the calculator, and what I want to identify 
is where it is positive, where it is negative, and where it is stationary. So we've got a positive gradient there, and a positive gradient there, and one there, and one there. Okay, so I can tell that the curve is increasing. Well, actually, let's colour in the uh, rest of it as well. Stationary there, there, and there. And decreasing here and here. So we're increasing when x is less than minus 1. And when x is greater than 1. OK, so from that point onwards, we are stationary. These are the stationary points that we found. So at x is minus 1, x is 0, and x is 1. And we are decreasing between minus 1 and 0. So decreasing between minus 1 and 0, and between 0 and 1. Okay, now, can this tell me what the curve is doing? So, I know that the curve is increasing when x is less than minus 1. So it starts off increasing, okay? And when it reaches minus 1, it is stationary. So when it reaches minus 1, it is stationary. That's at minus 1. When it's between minus 1 and 0, the next stationary point, it is decreasing. OK? And then it reaches x is 0. When it's getting to the next stationary point, between x is 0 and 1, it is decreasing again. And so it is decreasing between 0 and 1. And then once you get past 1, it is increasing. And so the curve must look or have this type of shape. OK? Now, it may not be perfectly to scale, but it is giving you a generic, well, a general idea of what the curve must look like. And these skills really help you to sketch curves and take this beyond um, into uh, core 3, core 4, uh, degree level material. This understanding of the uh, calculus that is working behind the scenes of these curves, that allows you to figure out what they must look like. So what I would probably suggest um, to take away from this is understand the process of how I find those stationary points and how I can then identify what, uh, whether the curve is increasing, decreasing or stationary. You can use the calculator or you might know the shape of the curve and so you don't need to go through this process. You, if you know the shape of the curve and you know where the stationary points are, from then on, it's pretty straightforward, as we saw with the cubic. Um, I would also um, take away this process of getting your inequalities right. Okay, So make sure you relate it back to the shape of the curve when you're doing it. Okay, So that's really how we can use these skills to sketch a curve we had no idea what it looked like. And you might want to go onto something like Desmos or your graphing calculator, if you have one, type that in to see what it looks like and check that it looks something like that.